Ever thought about why some short men, despite their stature, appear to have an inflated sense of self-importance? This puzzle often leads us to the Napoleon Complex, an intriguing psychological schema. Named after the famed French leader, it represents a compensatory behavior pattern in which those of shorter stature may exhibit narcissistic traits to counterbalance their height. This can manifest as an overblown self-image, a relentless pursuit of power, or a heightened sensitivity to criticism. That, my friends, is the first step to understanding short narcissistic men, acknowledging the influence of the Napoleon complex. Now imagine living in a world that's larger than life. Picture this. Short narcissistic men often retreat to the realm of their imagination, painting grandiose fantasies where they are the tallest, the strongest, the most influential. It's a universe where they are not just seen, but revered. These dreams provide a great escape from reality, a reality where their physical height doesn't meet societal standards. But remember, these larger-than-life fantasies work as a cover-up, a mask, if you will, for their height insecurities. Ever noticed an overly assertive short man? This trait, often associated with short narcissistic men, is a mechanism for asserting dominance in everyday interactions. It's an attempt to level the playing field, to make up for their perceived lack of stature, whether it's steering conversations, taking charge in group situations, or being overly confident, this aggressive assertiveness is a common behavior. It's not just about being loud or pushy, it's a complex interplay of self-perception and societal expectations. This assertiveness often stems from a need to be seen, heard, and most importantly, respected. What's the one thing we all crave? Validation. In the context of short narcissistic men, there's an incessant hunger for approval, it's as if they're on a never-ending quest to balance the scales, compensating for the height disparity they perceive. They seek constant affirmation, striving to prove their worth through achievements and recognition. This pursuit of validation is not just about proving themselves to others, but also to themselves. It's a way to counterbalance their perceived shortcomings. This constant need for validation is a means to fill the void left by their height insecurities. In a world of comparisons, how does a short narcissistic man fare? There's a competitive fire within him, a relentless drive to be the best. It's not just about being better, but about proving he's not less. He measures his worth against others, constantly comparing his achievements, status, and even physical attributes. This is more than just keeping up with the Joneses. It's an intense race where the finish line keeps moving. This social comparison is yet another way they try to compensate for their height. Control. It's a powerful thing, isn't it? When we dive into relationships with short narcissistic men, we often find a need for power and control. It's not about being domineering or oppressive. Rather, it's a deep-rooted desire to steer the course of events, to have a say in the narrative. It's a craving for influence, stemming from an inner struggle with their stature. This need for control is often a defense mechanism, a way to feel powerful despite their height. Charm can be deceiving, can it? It's not uncommon for short narcissistic men to use their charismatic charm as a means to influence and control their surroundings. This allure is not always sinister, but it's often a well-crafted tool for manipulation. They may use wit, humor, and flattery, weaving a captivating persona that draws people in. It's enticing, magnetic even, but it's essential to remember that beneath this charisma, there may be hidden motives. This charisma, while attractive, can often be a tool for manipulation. Envy. It's a powerful emotion, isn't it? Short narcissistic men are often plagued by comparison, measuring their worth against others' perceived success. This constant comparison breeds a potent blend of envy and resentment. They may despise those who seem to effortlessly attain the respect and admiration they so deeply crave. It's a tumultuous inner struggle, a ceaseless contest they feel they must win. But remember, this is their battle, not yours. This envy and resentment can often translate into negative behaviors. Behind every ego, there's a vulnerable side. Let's delve into the hidden insecurities that short narcissistic men often grapple with. Beneath the grandiosity and assertiveness lies a profound sense of not measuring up, a fear of being overlooked, of being deemed less than. This internal struggle often fuels their outward behavior, their drive for dominance, their need for validation. It's a complicated, challenging maze of emotions. Understanding these insecurities can help us empathize with their struggles. So how do you navigate a relationship with a short, narcissistic man? It's about recognizing the signs and setting healthy boundaries. Be aware of the controlling behaviors, 
the need for validation, or the grandiose fantasies. Remember, it's okay to assert your needs and maintain your personal space. Empower yourself by understanding the dynamics at play. Don't let the charm overshadow the potential for manipulation. Above all, prioritize your well-being. Remember, understanding is the first step towards a healthier relationship. In the end, it all boils down to understanding. From the Napoleon complex to the grandiose fantasies, aggressive assertiveness, and constant need for validation, we've journeyed through the complexities of short narcissistic men. We've explored their controlling behaviors, charismatic charm, and struggles with envy and resentment. We've unmasked insecurities and highlighted the importance of setting healthy boundaries. These insights empower us to navigate relationships with wisdom. Remember, knowledge is power. Use it to navigate your relationships with short narcissistic men wisely.